Hey, hey, hey. I've had way too much coffee. <laughs> welcome, welcome to all my new people. Welcome. So happy to have you here. Today is, I'm sure you know by the title, a new month for the cleaning routines. So, I have um, purchased the Fly Ladies Control Journal. I did a quick little bit about that. Yes, I did. And I am going to incorporate some of the Fly Lady into my Clean Mama routine. I'm calling it the Fly Mama. <laughs> I should get paid for this, but I don't. Um, so I figured what I would do is go over quickly what the control journal is and then go through what the new routines are going to be. It's so breezy out here today. It's nice. Okay, I highlighted some stuff. Con control journal is a binder that keeps your routines in one place. It's also your operations manual for your home. Okay, this is not going to be a binder that you're going to fill up with clutter. This is just for routines, basic weekly plans, zones, zones, menus, master grocery lists, um, emergency sections, and master address book. And they have little pages in here for you to fill out. It says, do not try to fill these all out in one sitting. Remember that your home did not get messy in a day and it's not going to get cleaned overnight. I've read all of it. I highlighted what I wanted to talk about. Okay, in the fly lady, she has um, a before bed routine, which I am going to add to my my um, my system. And there are three parts of the before bed routine. Uh, the first part is do a quick attack of your hot spots, which take 10 to 15 minutes, which are your major clutter spots. Think about tomorrow. Take care of yourself. Okay, those are the three. The first one, uh, da, 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 da. our bed routine start as soon as you're finished your dinner. Attack your hot spots, your kitchen. Clean it up after dinner and shine your sink. She's got a big thing about having your sink shined. Um, basically, just means make sure your sink is empty. Okay, you, all your dishes are done and taken care of, if possible. Uh, your living room, pick up after yourself and others. Delegate to your entrance. Put away any mail and clean off your favorite dumping grounds. Next, looking at what we can do tonight that will save us precious time tomorrow and keep us from being panicked. Make lunches while you're in the kitchen cleaning up after dinner. I'm talking really fast because I got a lot I want to get to. Think about what you are fixing for breakfast and prepare the table. What it is for dinner tomorrow, use your crock pot, throw in the refrigerator, check your calendar for tomorrow's schedule, start your to-do list, gather up items that you need to take with you tomorrow, backpacks, etc., and put them at the front door in the launching pad so that you don't forget them. Lay out your clothes for tomorrow and iron if needed. Now it's time to get your body and mind ready to rest. Okay, Take a bath to relax or read. Brush your teeth and floss, wash your face, comb your hair, take your medications or vitamins and put on your pajamas. And then celebrate today's accomplishments and what you're thankful for. Write down on a sheet of paper five things to celebrate. Read, listen to music or say your prayers or meditate. Go to bed at a decent hour with a smile on your face and in your heart. So... Shine your sink, check your calendar, and brush your teeth and go to bed at a decent hour. Okay. And then the explanation sheets, example sheets, and worksheets do not go in your control journal if you should happen to download these or purchase them. Once you have done them, put them in someplace else, like the trash can. They will clutter up your control journal and you do, do you understand this? Too many pages in your control journal overwhelm you. So this is your uh, your sheet for your um, bedtime routine. Section one, do a quick attack. Can you see this? There. Do a quick attack of your hot spots. Ten minutes, shine your kitchen sink, and then there's a bunch of underneath spots. Think about tomorrow, check your calendar, lay out your clothes, spots. 
take care of yourself, brush your teeth and floss and write things that you want to do to take care of yourself and go to bed at a decent hour. Okay, and then the fly lady has a morning routine explanation. All, all you're already doing is getting dressed, sprucing up the bathroom, and going to the kitchen and taking care of yourself. First and foremost, rise and shine. Make your bed as soon as you get out of it, unless your designate your um, your other half is still there, and then go into the bathroom. Shower, clean the bathroom while you're there. Fix your hair, your face. Swish the toilet with your little uh, scrubber. The room and uh, toilet, and leave the room never to return until later. It is clean, and you can forget about it for now. Leave your bathroom. Oh, sorry, leave your bedroom with a load of laundry in hand and go straight to the washer, if it applies. Go to your kitchen. If you did your before bed routine, the kitchen is clean and you are all you need to do is empty the dishwasher, make coffee and start breakfast, feed the critters and feed the family, including yourself. Hold on, phone call. Okay, after that little interruption here, back at it. Think about your day. Check your calendar. Make your list of what you're going to do today. Your to-do list. And thaw something for dinner. Checkbook. Bring down your balance. Um, reboot the laundry. Put it in your dryer. Put, put out your hot spots. That means declutter, I'm assuming. If you did your before bed routine, you won't have any. Now think about yourself. Take your vitamins, medications, sit down, eat breakfast if you haven't already. Morning meditation, take a little time for your spirit. Now reward yourself with some computer time and check your emails. And then you got a sheet for your morning routines, which is rise and shine. You make your bed and go into the bathroom, shower, get dressed and lace ups. Swish and swish the bathroom while you're in there and fix your hair. Extra space in the kitchen. Empty your dishwasher. Extra spaces for whatever you need in your home. And think about your day. Check your calendar with extra space. Now think about yourself. Take your vitamins or medication and a couple extra spaces. These are all available for free downloads on the Fly Ladies website. Okay, other routines. The secret is to do one step at a time and having it written down helps. Start with one habit and build upon that by adding another one to practice. That's the same as the clean mama. For example, your uh, afternoon routine, eat lunch, clean up dishes, make business phone calls, check emails, spend an hour writing. Example of after school, empty backpacks or briefcases, make snacks and help with homework and finish the laundry. Example of your late afternoon, this helps you calm down after a hard day of work. Set the dinner table, st set the dinner table start dinner, light candles, put on some nice music and pick up a couple of the hot spots. And then you have the same situation where you have your after... Early afternoon, eat lunch, extra spaces. You have your after school, after work routine, empty back backpacks and briefcases, extra space. Late afternoon was your restart uh, to start your dinner and you have extra spaces. Okay, basic weekly plan. With the fly lady, all we need is to do is to set a schedule for our week. This is your worksheet for developing your basic weekly plan. If I am I am forcing you to think about what days to do each thing before you start to fill in this week worksheet. I want you to think, I keep wanting to put think in there. I want you to look at the basic weekly plan and setting aside one day and run around is much easier than having to run around from store to store because you're scheduled yourself and ran out of time for something. Having a set shopping day masks, uh, masks makes the whole week a peaceful journey. The explanation in the worksheets are not part of your control journal. They are to be discarded after you develop a basic weekly plan. Use a pencil if you're not ready to car carve it in stone. This is an outline of your week and not your straight jacket. Okay. This is a lot, so get ready. Monday weekly home blessing. Get dressed you from your head to your shoes. Do your laundry, weekly home blessings, uh, 
A, Cult House Magazines, B, Change Sheets, C, Empty All the Trash, D, Vacuum All the Rooms, C, E, Mop and Kitchen Floors, F, Clean Mirrors and Doors, G, Feather Dust the Furniture. Tuesday is your free day. Water and spritz fertilize plants. Spend 15 minutes in your current zones. Wednesdays, clean the partial desk time. Finish zone cleaning. Remainder weekly cleaning. Make sure refrigerator is clean. Write a thank you note. Work on menus and grocery lists for the next week and balance your checkbook before going shopping. Thursday is your grocery and errand day. Make sure menus are planned before going shopping. Check grocery lists at least one time before leaving the house with a list for grocery day. Errand day. Go to the library, post office, buy gift cards, gifts and cards, and buy candles. Friday is your paperwork and miscellaneous. Be romantic today. Get food from the basement freeze out for next week. File papers. Write letters and cards. Clean out your purse. Mend clothes and polish shoes. Do your pet care, your flea and heart meds. Clean out the car and check your fluids. Check, clean your laundry room. Mail film, mail film to Mystic Labs. Friday is date night, Saturday is family fun day, and Sunday is renew your spirit day. Okay. And then there are basic plan worksheets for your week that break those categories down just like before. And you have like all the ones I just said, plus space for you to add your own personal home situation. Uh, kitchen, you're going to mop your floor. Wash your area rugs, clean out the refrigerator, and plan menus. Bathroom, you're going to polish your mirror, empty the trash, mop the floor, and clean the tub. Laundry, do loads of blank loads a week. Iron, clean up the washer and dryer, sweep the floor, put away all clean clothes, change vacuum bag or check. Straighten the laundry room. Bedrooms, children, and responsible for their bedrooms. Clean the mirror, vacuum the carpet, dust furniture, change sheets. A living room, dining room, family room. Clean your mirror, vacuum your carpet, dust furniture, and call your magazines. Paperwork, cars, personal. Pay your bills and file your paper. Write letters and mail cars. Call magazines, water plants. Clean out your purse. Polish shoes. Mend clothes. Clean out your car. Me time. Family fun time. Date night. Renew your spirit. Run your errands. Pick one day a week and for running, grocery shopping. Take back library books. Go to the post office to mail item or purchase stamps and make other appointments. Bam! Now that you have filled in your worksheets, it's time to break it down into days of the week. Next, pencil all the things you're going to do into your errand day. Then decide when you're taking some time for yourself. Okay, there's a weekly home blessing. I might have to throw in another video into this only spend 10 minutes of on each item you're running through your house not trying to do one room at a time remember you don't have to clean like your mother did do you hear me set your timer and go as fast as you can put on some fun music and bless your home as well as your body if you need to break it down into days then pencil in the day of the week when the timer goes off you can stop I promise you will get faster and faster at it the more you practice you have. Do not get into the perfectionist mode. We are just hitting the middles. 1. Vacuum traffic areas of your home. 2. Toss out last week's magazines. They are clutter. 3. Change the sheets on your bed. Have your children listen with their super with your supervision. 4. Sweep and mop the kitchen and the bathroom floors. 5. Clean mirrors and doors, handprints, toothpaste, dog nose prints, and etc. Get 6. Gather up all the trash. I lost myself. All the trash in your house and recyclables and put it in within the trash can. 7. Grab your feather duster and dance through your home with your final blessing. Okay, keep this sheet with the day of the week you choose to bless your home in a sheet protector, if you want. And then they have blank pages that just say your basic weekly plan, your day of the week, and you fill in all your things you want to do for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Look how skimpy they get on the weekends. Come on. Some of us have only weekends to work with. Okay, and then she has her zone cleaning. For years, we have cleaned our homes with the classic stash and dash method. Y'all do that? Yes. Okay. 
The beauty of breaking our home into zones is that we nip our perfectionism in the bud. And then they give you a monthly calendar and a quick little overview of your zones. Zone 1, entrance 2, kitchen 3, bathroom 4, master bed, and 5 is the living room, playroom, den, etc. Okay, and I am not going to go through all these zones now. If you want me to read you the zones, I will definitely do that. But they're all on the website. And they're all free. And this entire set is free to download. Okay, I purchased mine. I think it was like $15 or something like that because I'm a jackass. And I'm too lazy to spend the time printing it out and all that. Okay, so anyways. This month's Fly Lady is... The monthly focus is the laundry room, so we're going to do that with zone 3 point whatever, because it's not the first thing, the laundry room detailed cleaning list. Okay, are we ready? Please pause and write all these down if you want to, or you can go on the websites for Clean Mama, print it. You can also go on Fly Lady, print it, okay? For October, the laundry room, our rotating tasks are going to be Vacuum your baseboards. Uh, use the nozzle and the brush attachment. Vacuum spot clean furniture. Treat your spots or stains. Your light fixtures in your bathrooms. Focus on just the bathrooms. Wash your rugs, your area rugs. Polish your wood furniture. Give your furniture a little extra shine. Wipe switches, phones, remotes, um, and the most touched areas. Clean your oven. Use self-clean furniture oven. For, uh, blah, blah, blah. Use the self-clean feature on your oven or wipe it out. Vacuum your garage, your basement, and storage. Use a large broom or wet-dry vac to clean out these seldom cleaned areas. See something you no longer need? Donate it. And wipe down your appliances. Your dishwasher, your refrigerator, your washer dryer, etc. Then, your monthly task. Okay, that's your laundry room. You're going to declutter. You're going to clear the room or laundry area of any unnecessary items. You're going to clean and wipe the shelves and drawers. Deep clean the washer and dryer. Evaluate what is and isn't working for you. Toss and donate items that are no longer needed or wanted. Organize group-like things together. Contain, use a pretty, con pretty containers to make supplies more attractive. Label to make locating items easier and to unify the space. Practice. Oh, you mugger. Blah, blah. Oh, here we go. Take it out, put it away, and do a load of laundry every day to keep it manageable. Okay, that is the clean mama. <clears throat> For the fly lady, zone three part, I'm going to call it two, laundry room detailed cleaning list. Wipe down the top of your washer and dryer. Clean the gunk from under the washer lid. Throw out empty bottles and boxes. Empty the gar garbage can. Check supplies of laundry detergent, softener, spot remover. Sweep and mop the floor. Remove the cobwebs and put away all clothes. Look behind appliances for your odd socks. Mm, there we go. That's all the big information. Okay. <laughs> I think I squeezed all that in. I'm not sure. Um, yes, I did get my entryway done, and I also purged the closet, and you guys are all watching me also do my declutter, de-stash of my new storage solution. Thank you all for coming. Please stay safe and healthy. Get some cleaning going. If you need some motivation, let me know. I love you all, and I hope to see you in the next one.